I got to uh, do the work so much with Dr. Axworthy. We developed, a, I don't know if you want to call it a phrase or a philosophy or a perspective, but it was called a tap on the shoulder. And through Lloyd's leadership and vision, he believed, like so many of you in this room, that every child, no matter where you're from, every young person, no matter what your ethnic background is or your socioeconomic status or whatever your family circumstance is, that every child, every person deserved a tap on the shoulder to say, university is for you. What's the importance of Eco Kids at the University of Winnipeg? Uh, Eco Kids on campus helps to provide uh, young people with a way of engaging in their learning at, on a university campus. Um, it allows for faculty members of the university and volunteers to uh, help students learn through hands-on science experiments. And I think it really uh, allows the kids to have a sense of belonging to the university community and uh, builds a connection with the university. is that we've laid a pretty firm foundation for the program to continue. Because I think the Eco Kids program is one of the most, uh, one of the, the more, there was part of a general uh, over, uh, overview we have that the university has to be not involved just in teaching university level students, but to be working uh, in the schools around Winnipeg or even outside Winnipeg uh, to help develop an interest. So that when you come to the university and you you're being taught science by a professor here, you, you can pick up some skills, you, you learn that the university kind of belongs, you know, it's a place that isn't a big clump of old building, you know, concrete buildings, but it's actually a place that belongs to you. I mean, this is a public university, it's, it, it belongs to everybody, and I just want to make sure that everybody gets a chance, if they want to, they don't have to, but if they want to, to come here and get a good education. And I think we build a foundation that will provide the, ongoing support and commitment of the university and uh, uh, it will be, you've got uh, some of the people here in the room who can make sure that happens. Most importantly, I would love to say a big, giant miigwech. Thank you, thank you to Dr. Axworthy um, for your vision, for your dreams, for your compassion and your caring uh, for all of the students and future students that are coming through programs like the Eco Kids on campus, the Science Kids, the Summer Camp, the Model School, all of the different programs that you've helped to create, I think is a lasting legacy and a testimony to your um, caring for people and for your ability to um, inspire and um, assist people to reach their dreams. So um, thank you so much, Dr. Axworthy. It's been my privilege and my pleasure to um, work under your leadership and your vision. Um, and for on behalf of all of the former model school, eco kids, students, and the future ones to come, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Axworthy. Thank you, Dr. Lloyd Axworthy. Thank you, Dr. Lord Axworthy. Thank you, Dr. Lord Axworthy. <laughs>